You get the Maguire. You get the Sosa. Gem Mint 10. <laughs> uh, who doesn't remember home shopping? And Don West, back in the uh, the late 90s, it was, oh my God, I was like watching a dumpster fire. I remember he was peddling the Chong Modesto Ace, Mark McGuire, pre-rookie card, Gem and 10. It was like some bullshit graving company, like uh, USA Graving 10 or something. <laughs> every every deal was the greatest deal ever until you got to like the next deal. This next deal, you thought that last deal was so great. This next deal makes that one look like complete shit. <laughs> anyway, um, I digress. Back to um, the topic at hand, uh, continuing on the uh, the countdown. So we're looking at cards number uh, 100 to 76, and this is kind of based on like four-month-old pricing, whatever. But anyhow, uh, just excuse to look at some more cards here, and this is the 71 Clemente. This is, this is a pre-COVID purchase just before things took off. Uh, nice 7.5 grade here. And uh, number 99, here's a gem mint 10, uh, Don Mattingly, just the base rookie card. Tiffany, a little too rich for my blood. I think um, that card has always been like around two to $3,000, maybe more now, probably a lot more now. I haven't looked in a while. Here's a, this was a big card, <clears throat> 2003 Fleer, uh, Tradition, featuring three of the biggest Stars of the game from the last 20 years or so. So pretty cool card there. Number 97 features also LeBron James, the base rookie from Bowman. <clears throat> Rookies and stars. Steph Curry in a nine. I think I bought this card with eBay bucks. Remember eBay bucks where if you bought stuff on eBay, then you get like a percentage credit to your account. And uh, at the time of purchase, this was, I think it was like a $270 card and I had $30 in eBay bucks. So it ended up being under 250. Also before the days of sales tax, which was nice. From a bygone era. Um, Cy Young here, 1.5. My favorite of the Cy Young tobacco cards. The glove showing. It's got a crease. I mean, it's a 1.5. This one was like $300 something dollars. Like probably prior to 2010. Nineteen sixty nine tops. Nolan Ryan. Second year. First solo card. I like this card. 7.5. Ron James, rookie. This was a crazy card. I think it touched $10,000 in a nine, <laughs> which is ludicrous. I bought it in 2016 in April. I think just before he won his first first championship with the um, Heat. Now this is like whatever. It's like a $1,000 card somewhere in there. Kobe. These two cards, you know, I used to, um, well, I still do arrange my cards and cases by value. And um, these two in particular were like in that first row or first column, you know, probably around, what, three or so years ago now, Kobe here. This might have peaked at around 5,000 or so in the nine, the chrome, which I didn't realize suffered from a greening or hulking as they call it. And um, <clears throat> never noticed it on mine until I went looking for it. And now I can't unsee it. There's definitely green. He looks green. Um, <laughs> maybe you could tell from this angle here. I don't know. So Kobe Bryant. And then next up is a uh, <clears throat> is a recent purchase, I guess. This one checks in at number 91. It's a football card from uh, Panini National Treasures. Two of the greatest running backs of all time. Barry Sanders and Emmett Smith. My son really likes this card. In fact, it's my son who somewhat influenced me to buy football cards this year. So there's that. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Bumblebee Tuna. Got this one in an eight. Hard to price this one. I think I put it in at what I paid for. It was like 1100 bucks, I think. Um, yeah, 
just, uh, I mean, again, I don't know how you grade these things. I mean, I've seen fours that look just like this. I mentioned that same sort of observation with like my Tiger Woods and the Serena Williams, which are SGC graded. I don't know how you come to a, I don't know. This looks like it's a white corner touchdown there, I guess. Anyway, just a cool card, kind of a novelty, but I, I really like that my son really likes it too. Um, I had to go out and get him because uh, he doesn't have any football cards, so I had to go find him a uh, like a uh, like an ACO, like a custom of uh, him, like on the Hurricanes. And it was like a dollar or two bucks, and so he was happy with that. Here's Clemens, eighty-five tops, future Hall of Famer. Yes. I think so. Mike Schmidt, rookie card, PSA 8. There was a period of time, probably around about 2016-ish, 2017, where I was going through and buying up like key cards of the 70s. I even made a couple of videos on that very topic. And so Schmidt obviously was one of those key cards to have. And I want to say... That one checked in at the time of purchase, like around $375 or just under $400. So here's a card that I, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, oh, there's some kind of eBay promotion that I didn't quite understand. And it was a percentage off, a significant amount of money off of a single purchase. And I thought it would apply for like the day for no matter what you bought. And I bought some cheap thing. Like under hundred dollars, and I got a discount on it. And then I went to buy this thing, and I thought I'd get that same discount, save like 50, 60 bucks, and I didn't get it. And I was kind of bummed out, so I had to pay full price, but it worked out in the end. This was uh, not quite four hundred dollars, um, whenever that was. And this one checks in at number eighty-seven on this little countdown here, which means eighty-six is mantle, and there's quite a few mantles in this. Particular batch that's grouping 69 tops. The centering sucks, and I knew that going into it. I think it took me so I spent a lot of time looking for a centered copy of this as I neared the end of the the run. I think this might have been the last card I added, and um, I just said screw it. I just wanted to finish it and move on, and so I settled. I settled for this, knowing the centering was awful. It's got a tilt to it actually. Um. This card back then was like $275. Kind of sticks in my head a little bit. Here's Altuve. I don't really like this card, um, but it's here because of what I guess it's worth. And I had it in July at what? I had it at $1,200. That seems kind of high. Um, <clears throat> it can't be worth that now. I haven't checked, but anyway, tops update gold. Jose Altuve. Again, here's that vein of mantles. My first graded card purchase ever, the 66 tops. And years later, it was a long time after I bought it. I looked at this card and I said, man, that centering sucks. <laughs> Didn't even notice it. The classic uh, buy the buy the grade, not the card, is what I did. I was guilty of that on many occasions. Here's Jordan's second year. A very modest PSA 9. These uh, suffer from a lot of uh, print defects, apparently. You see this oftentimes with a PD qualifier, second year Jordan. <clears throat> Another mantle, 63. This was number 82 in my collection. 81 is the 59. Eighty is the sixty-five, probably one of my favorite favorite mantle cards. Just like that image. Ozzy Smith, second year. I got it in me one at one point in my collecting history to go out and try to find PSA tens of uh, second year second year PSA tens of players whose First year PSA, the rookie card PSA was just <clears throat> astronomically high. And so he's one of them. Uh, Ricky Henderson was another one. Um, I did a video about that, kind of, sort of. But uh, second year Ozzy. And these older older Tops cards are becoming increasingly difficult to find. Although there's a few of these on eBay right now, like $1,300 unsold. So I, don't know, I had this one at um, 1350 
which is about right. Um, but again, I think there's a couple right now that are sitting unsold. I did look that one up today randomly. Henderson, 82 tops, gem, mint, 10. <laughs> and then this is going to be, uh, what, 70, um, where are we at here? 77, <clears throat> I guess. Yeah, 77. And it's another Mickey Mantle card. Tough. Tough to get in high grade because of those prone to chipping wood grain borders. This was, oh man, if I could, what did I, I, definitely less than $400. Um, I guess it escapes me at the moment, but yeah, it was, well, this is a long time ago too, right? So it's not like, you know, it was two weeks ago because that card now is whatever it is. But yeah, these mantle cards I bought a long, long time. We're talking 10 years ago or more in a lot of cases. And here's number 76, <clears throat> the 48 Leaf Joe DiMaggio also purchased a very long time for 475 bucks. That I remember. This number stick in my head for some reason. So this one's, uh, again, number 76. It's about, uh, I don't know, maybe like a $1,400 card somewhere in there. So... I have one more of these to go, uh, counting down to number 51. And then, as I said in the original video, there's a top 50 showdown that we're trying to, well, we're not putting a whole lot of effort in trying to get it together. We, we've talked about it, and we'll, we'll get to it eventually. Um, so that'll be my top 50, uh, if and when we get around to, uh, to doing that one. And that'll be on Mike's channel, um, most likely. But uh, anyway, that's a wrap. As always, thanks for watching, and I will uh, talk to you later.